stupid. What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys just a quick commentary just to announce that, or not to announce anything actually, but um, I'm actually going to be double uploading today because I missed two days straight of uploads. Um, but it's kind of just to make a video and a to I have a topic. Uh, this uh, the COD 4 developer Todd Alderman. Uh, you guys may not remember him. If you don't, if you're not a big fan of COD 4, you may not care. Uh, but if you're a fan of MW2, you might care. Todd Alderman, he was the lead developer on uh, COD 4 and MW2 before he got fired, and uh, I think right before MW2 was released. But he kind of made that game, and they brought in uh, Robert Bowling to do all the updates and stuff like that, and he didn't do a very good job. And then Tina, and then Mark Rubin. Um, so I'm not a big, I was not a big fan of Tina, Mark Rubin, or Robert Bowling. Uh, MW3 wasn't that bad, but, uh, Ghost was just terrible. And they're, but they're bringing back Todd Alderman, which I'm very, very, very excited about. Um, and I'm hoping he stays for a while, um, because he definitely knows how to make a really good Call of Duty. Um, and... I mean, my favorite of the Call of Duties is I like the Treyarch games better, but Infinity Ward wasn't bad before they, um, made, before they, like, uh, before Alderman got fired, they, they were, they weren't bad, um, and I'm, so I'm really excited about that, um, and, yeah, so, that's number one on the list, and then number two is, t today's first video, like I said, was a recruitment challenge video, um, that went up on both channels, the Sick Gaming and the, and my channel, um, and I'm really looking forward to that, I'm really excited about that, um, yeah, so, number two, again, another topic, uh, Keemstar, he got hacked, um, his channel, not hacked, but the owner of his channel, I think his network was called Freedom Network, um, they had his 100k plaque sent to his house, and or, uh, the owner of his channel had the 100k plaque sent to his house, and then requested money for um, for that plaque to be sent to Keemstar, which he rightfully deserves. Um, he like rightfully deserves to get the plaque, and he was, he shouldn't have to pay any money for it. Um, so then. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> I'm a little sick if you guys can't tell. Um, then when Keemstar said he wasn't going to send him money, he made all the videos private on Drama Alert and then made a video public of, of Keemstar and his daughter. So uh, that, that that was supposed to be private. So that's just not right at all. Um, and I'm not, defend I'm not uh, defending Keemstar here, but I think it's completely wrong that they did that. Um, it's not fair to him. Uh, I'm not a big Keemstar fan, but I don't hate Keemstar either. He's he uh, just tries to do a job that gets him and his family enough money so he can live, I guess. Um, and apparently, it was like it's just really bad that someone would do something like that. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and then Formula and Pomage one v one, and Pomage called uh, or. Formula tweeted that he really wanted to run 1v1 uh, Pomage on Rust on the W2. And Pomage, uh, so Pomage said, let's go. And then they did it, and Pomage won like 30 to like 7 or something like that. And Formula called Scarce Crying, and it, it was pretty funny. Um, it, like, it, you have to see Scarce's story about it. It's pretty funny. Uh, uh, I thought at least. I mean, like Scarce said, I'd be lucky to get, anybody would be lucky to get one kill on Pomage, um, in a 1v1, so, I mean, Formula got like 7, so, uh, I'm not saying that Formula, like, I would be lucky to get a kill on Formula too, because I'm not a good sniper at all, um, I'm not a good sniper, like, I mean, I'm not a bad sniper, but I'm not as good as some of these guys in Red and Phase, and as all these guys in Red and Phase, and, uh, sore and obey. Um, not as good as any of the big clans, so. Um, yeah. And then, final, another topic, uh, one second. Another topic I can talk about is, uh, Feek's left phase. Um, he was an editor for phase. Um, and I watched Scarce's video. He said it, sound, it seems like he was going off to college and he's going into video editing, so he'll need to focus on that kind of. 
or he's going solo, or he's quitting, because uh, he changes that, uh, his Twitter handle to at CFX. Um, so, uh, we don't know what that means. I have no further information on that. Um, but it sounds like a lot of FaZe members are uh, leaving, and a lot of people are joining FaZe. Um, so I think they really should just kind of let people join, and I think they should let people leave instead of kicking people, unless they're very inactive. Like, uh, I don't understand. Like, I, I know there's some fans of his out there, but I don't understand how fake he hasn't been kicked. Just because he's uh, one of the originals doesn't mean he shouldn't be kicked. I mean, he's very inactive. I don't, I don't know when the last time he released an episode was. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Fakey. I like Fakey. Um, he, he released some of the dirtiest episodes out there, and I just think it's not fair that some people are getting kicked, and uh, he's not. Um, so, I, I, that's just my opinion. Uh, you guys can comment your opinions down below. Um, but yeah, so uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Get Sick Recruitment Challenge. Uh, that's what we're calling it. So, the Get Sick Recruitment Challenge is uh, just a recruitment challenge, like, we are trying to get tons of new members, um, and I, I mean tons, like, we want so many people to join this clan, um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, we want so many people to join our clan and join our, like, French, like, it's our group of friends, really, uh, we're like a family, uh, I mean, some of the people might not get along, like, I'm not trying to make it, I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but Shadows and Twist really don't get along. Um, and, yeah, so Twist is back in, if you guys didn't know that, but we're, we're trying to recruit a lot more people. Um, it, it's gonna be, I, I'm excited for it because I want to see some really cool episodes. I'm hoping that this recruitment challenge does well and we might do another one soon. Uh, if it does well, or if it doesn't, if it doesn't do well, we might do it, that might motivate us to do another one too. But I feel like this recruitment challenge will do well because every time I've seen a client post a recruitment challenge, and it does pretty well. So, yeah. Um, but I guess uh, I'm gonna about to play heist with my friends. So um, I haven't played GTA heist yet. So I've been really busy with moving. I think they've been out for like a week at this point. Uh, I don't know how long they've been out, but. I have to play heist with them, and I hear a lot of good things about them, and I hear they were worth the wait. So uh, I'm doing. I'm actually, as we speak, downloading the. Or as I'm making this video, I'm downloading the GTA Online Heist Challenge or Heist Compatibility Pack. Uh, it's like one gig, so I'm at like 40 percent. So I'm. I'm just kind of trying to figure out uh, what. Like I'm trying to. I'm gonna maybe watch like the first heist and see what I need to do. Um, but I will record it and post it. The pr the preparation will be one video, and then the hu actual heist will be the next, unless it's, unless it's not very long. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems like my road to every gold gun on MW3 series has been doing really well. Um, MW3 is a really good Call of Duty, in my opinion, um, and I feel like like I, I mean, like I said, it wasn't the best Call of Duty, but I feel like it's a good Call of Duty. Enough, it's good enough to actually play at least, um, and I, like it's uh, where I have most of my memories. That's why I've, I've been playing it. And that's why I chose to do it on there. Plus, it's the easiest game to get gold guns on. But yeah, I've released four episodes. And they've been doing pretty well, um, and I have a fifth one recorded uh, and a sixth one ready to go up. Um, all my videos, all of them have gotten five views and the like. Uh, except for episode four, which just went up yesterday, that got two views. But uh, I, I'm really happy about how that series is doing. I, I consider good for a video anything over five views. Uh, like if uh, people keep coming back to that series and watching it, uh, and I know I'm not the best at live comms, guys. I'm sorry about that, but I try to be focused on the gameplay so that way I can get the better gameplay over the better um, commentary. Because I feel like it's more fun to watch a good gameplay with a with a really with a bad commentary than a good commentary with a bad gameplay. I mean, not exactly, but like I feel like a good gameplay kind of helps the commentary a lot more. Um, I mean, if you do a bad gameplay, but it's it's a uh, good commentary, I'll still watch it. Uh, but I'm not very good at live comms. Is what I'm trying to say, and I'm trying to get better. I think I've gotten a lot better personally, but but yeah, I feel like I've gotten a lot better because uh, it's been. Uh, 
In the beginning, I could barely do them. Like when I did the Havoc DLC playthroughs, I could barely do them. I wasn't talking at all. Now I'm starting to talk a little bit more. Um, and a couple outtakes I have, uh, it's horrible gameplay and just very good commentary. Like a uh, st straight 10 minutes of me talking while I'm playing. Ooh, excuse me, while I'm playing. Um, and I, I do bad, so I don't post them because, uh, yeah, but... The Road to Every Gold Gun series is very fun for me to record because it's a very easy series to record. Um, but it's like it's hard to edit and stuff. Um, but yeah, so when I'm recording this video now, the Get Sick Recruitment Challenge video comes out in three minutes. I actually have to make the, I still have to make the post on the website and the link and the annotation and stuff like that. So uh, I'll try to do that real quick. Um, and it's it's gonna be very exciting, um, but like the thing about that is it's, we just want gamer tags so we know who's going for it, um, and then it's like that way if we get added or something, we can at least know who this person is that's adding us um, and before their episode comes out. Um, it's like I said, the recruitment challenge is going to the April twenty fifth or something like that. So two days after my birthday, I think I said. But yeah, so. Uh, that's gonna do it guys um, yeah but that's gonna do it for this video guys comment like, subscribe follow me on twitter down below as always guys it's been sick crazy hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching have a great